Always be proud to wear the blue. Follow each till the day you die. Till the day you die. I don't know if I'm tempting fate by singing that song. I really should stop it at my age. But anyway, there we go. A uh, little intro with some music. Some people like the music. Some people hate the music. Some people say it's cringeworthy. Some people say you must keep doing it. So I try to satisfy everybody by not doing it every day some days a day i do and some days i don't anyway back to all things ipswich town and uh, a positive review by alex jones of the east anglian daily times about brandon williams he said it was an outstanding performance capped off his first half showing with an unbelievable goal where he ran from the halfway line uh, and uh, 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 so he was strong in the tackle brave going forward and the best player on the pitch well of course he was but it was before the halfway line that he started that run. And Glenn Noble reminded me that uh, all five substitutes were responsible for the fourth goal against Preston because uh, Ladapo uh, fed Harness, who in turn fed Taylor and then Hutchinson and then finally uh, Gaden Jackson. So he's correct, of course. All five substitutes involved in that goal. So we really do have some super subs. And it was a great choice of Kira McKenna to bring them on all around about the same time and people say when when will this bubble burst for Ipswich Town well I think um, it won't be until about December we've got a couple of games coming up against Rotherham United on the 20th of October and on the 25th is it on a Wednesday Bristol City away and then Plymouth at home I would expect Ipswich to win that one although we didn't last season of course and then the 1st of November the Carabao Cup against Fulham at Portman Road too but December is a difficult one and it starts off on the uh, 2nd of December uh, when we play Coventry at Portman Road. We'll be in Phuket watching that with mm. some Ipswich Town supporters. And we will continue to do being frank on Ipswich Town every single day, all being well. And on the 16th of December, we play the N-Word away. And 23rd of December, Leeds away. 26th of December, at home, Leicester City. So that is the difficult patch coming up for town before the end of the new year. If we survive all that and still remain in second spot, then there is every reason to believe we could get automatic promotion. Let's hope so anyway. We'll wrap it up for now. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for subscribing. And we'll catch you later. What do we say, darling? Up and down!